They won. Told it her to dial up modem. <laughs> Where's the little AOL uh, key? You guys are live right now, by the way. Go. Okay. There we go. Pavel Francois, Young Guns. Up and coming Colorado starting goalie, rookie. High end, that's a very good young gun to open up right about now. Uh, and we have another nice insert Artemi Panarin, aka the Bread Man. Basic insert, nothing overly special. Still, beautiful card. It's a decent product for a base product, but we all know everybody's looking for the young guns primarily. Hopefully we'll see gold young gun or a variant. And there is another young gun, Peyton Krebs, Las Vegas Golden Knights. Krebs is a decent player as well. Most of the young guns come out with top end mm -hmm. prospects and they focus on the top end talent in hockey. So I think we see five young guns per box and we're halfway at that point at this juncture. We have a f nice mm -hmm. Malkin ice card. Yet again, no serial number, that's a little bit of a bummer. But still, beautiful acetate card. Good old Gino for you. In action. And then a few more base cards. All the base cards will be broken down by teams and allocated accordingly. There's a nice Alex Kerfoot base card. Cadre. Holders. Kirby Datch. He'll be wearing that suit a lot this year, being injured. Go Lauren. George Stan. No insert that pack. Igor, base card. We got we got a nice hit in this pack. See something shiny. Coming down the pike, Dazzlers, Matthew Chickuck. Decent insert. Decent card. And then the rest is just our base fillers. Dazzlers is a new insert according to the box. I guess it's not horrible. I've seen worse inserts. Nikita Gusev, local team player. Uh, no hits in that. There's another young gun for us. Joel Cavranta.
Dallas Stars, left wing. Don't know too much about him, being honest. And again, I don't watch many Dallas games in any sport. For the same base, there's Victor Soderstrom, Young Guns. Phoenix Coyotes, decent player, he went high in the draft. Other basic insert cart, Drew Dowdy, predominant. Say so the base cards have some decent photography work done to them. Basic design, nothing special, nothing fancy. A little bit of foiling. Brock Nelson. There we go. Debut dates. Capo Caco. Another basic insert card. No serial numbers. But like we've established, big hits and base upper deck is the young guns. Be nice to see some serial numbered young guns, gold variants come out. But let's see what Lady Luck does for us. Deck portraits, Austin Matthews. Doesn't look like they gave him too much uh, notification that he was getting his picture taken that day. It looks a little rough there, but he's one of the top players in the league. Decent card, decent coloring. Reminds me of Collector's Edge back in the day. Going for a little bit of a retro look there. Another one, Sebastian Ajo, Hurricanes. Two portraits in a row, not horrible. At least Ajo looks like he wanted his picture taken. Matthews just wants to get back out on the ice, it seems. P.K. Subban, Dylan Larkin, and there is another portrait, Braden Shen. Hate to say it, Upper Deck, I'm seeing a pattern here in your box placement. Not big on box mapping, but we'll see. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's working on a map to figure out if it's the same placement. And that's why you want to do box breaks. Why go buy random packs you don't know if the box has been pillaged. Hey Paul, we got a question in the chat. Are we shipping all base cards? All base cards are being shipped. Any base card that correlates with your team slot goes with the hits. Right now with this base set it looks like all hits are inserts. So, it's a decent start. Decent filler. Decent bang for your buck. Not super high end premium, but it's a solid set. Solid start. Hoping for the young guns. Alexander Barkov, insert. NHL Worldwide. Decent looking. A little play on the uh, a 
foreign flags and everything. Young Guns, Jason Robertson. Yeah, another Dallas Star. Left winger. I think he went middle of the first round somewhere in the draft. Not that bad of a player. Everybody's looking for the top five softs. Keith Yandel, Carlin. Jake Evans. There is a big hit for us. Jake Evans is Montreal Canadiens' top pick. He's definitely moving up the depth chart in Montreal. And he looks like he's going to be a building block for them for a year to come. Just making sure there isn't anything else. Nothing wrong with looking for freebies and packs. Patrick Kane worldwide. Keep it back in America. And that looks like that ends our box run. So to recap. It's almost an insert per pack. Which isn't horrible. No autographs, no memorabilia, but it's not the name of the game with the base set. So you have Jake Evans, Jason Robertson, Young Guns, The Portraits, Connor Hellbuck, mm -hmm. Braden Shen, Sebastian Ojo, Austin Matthews, Worldwide, Kako, Predominant Drew Doughty, and here's the rest of our young guns. Victor Soderstrom. Kevaranta, young gun. We got our Malkin and our Matthew Chakuk Dazzlers. Malkin Acetate card, beautiful card. Peyton Krebs, young gun. Pavel Francois, young gun. And then we have our canvases. Connor Garland, Andrew Borkowski, Patrick Liani. And Nico Heischer, that started the whole night off out of this box. So, not, not bad. Six young guns. Well, at least they kept their word what was on the box, right? Unlike Panini. Yes. Well, and this is why they say average. But Upper Deck, I think, has made it a point to put it in the box. Especially with the base set. Because they don't have to worry about anything else. Just get the young guns in the box because that's what everybody wants. So we got our six. I want to thank everybody that participated. Helped make our first break open look pretty decent. A couple minor technical difficulties, but we'll work our way through it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Sorry, guys. Now, no excuses. You, you did a trial run the other night. At least we opened better rookies in this box than what your box went in. <laughs> I don't want to hear that it was a different sport. Not cool, dude. Hey. Too soon. Too soon. Never too soon. So don't forget to check our listings also. You see some of our previous hits from our personal hits from our own personal cracks prior to us getting into this opening up for other people's venture. Check our other listings and hopefully you'll join us again. Alright, next up I think we have NBA uh, Hoops 2020, correct Al? 2021. Or 2021, I'm sorry. 2021 uh, random di uh, division style. Yes, I have all the names and everything put in there. Hey everyone, I'm uh, Alex Kurgan from uh, Box Break Kings and Collectibles. Uh, you can find us on eBay.
uh, eBay name, uh, box break, kings and collectibles, how convenient. Um, we have eBay auctions up live now. Uh, uh, right now I'm opening a box of uh, NBA Hoops 2021 rookies. Basically what you're chasing here, you want LaMelo Ball, he's the Zion this year basically. Um, Tyrese Halliburton, Peyton Pritchard, uh, Manuel Quickly, I believe his name is, from the Knicks, uh, James Wiseman, uh, Anthony Edwards, the number one pick. I mean, that's these are the kind of guys that you're looking for. Um, all right, we're going to do the uh, random draw now for the uh, team divisions. Thank you for all who participated in this tonight. Again, this is our first night. Bear with us. We will get better. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> but unlike Panini, we, we fulfill our promises. We got everybody's name in there, as you can see. And then we have our divisions over here. We're going to turn around and put those in the randomizer. If you give me just one moment. What constitutes a moment? So first we're going to start with the divisions. All right, and as we agreed on the forum, we're going to do five spins on the randomizer. As you can see, like I said, all your names in there. And we're going to turn around and randomize five times. So, one, two. Th that's the divisions, not the names. Uh, correct. We're going to do double. It's the divisions and then the names. Yes, yes. Three, four, and five. Let me just get the top loaders ready for the break. Alright, and now I'll take our names as posted. Or not. Bear with me, folks, one moment. Apologize about that. There we go. And there are our names, like I said. Everybody's in, as we agreed, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. 
So we have with the Southeast Division, we have M underscore Roger 112. With the Northeast Division, we have M underscore Roger 112. The Pacific Division, we have Mike Mike underscore 365. The Atlantic, we have Edson uh, 1002. The Southwest, we have Vicious BUU3. I wonder what that means. And then Northwest, we have Dave G988. And the Central will be randomized between the group. So let's see what happens. Back to you, Al. All right, here we go. Let's get cracking. This is what you guys, you got, you're not here to listen to us talk. You want to see the product, the goods. Hey, some people say you want to talk. We will have a box cutter next time. I, I apologize for the pen for the low, low budget production, but as, as, I, as we stated earlier, we will get better with time. Here we go, first pack. Again, LaMelo Ball is your chase. That's who you want this year. He's the guy. That's the guy everybody's talking about. All right, here we go. First card, base card, Terrence Davis. Josh Akogi. Devin Booker. Victor Oladipo. Uh, Malik Monk. Precious Ochua, we got next insert. People were actually pretty high on him, so I mean, he could be he could be something. Uh, we got uh, Jordan Nawara. I, I think I might have butchered that name. Okay. Uh, Jordan, so I'm, I apologize for that. I just realized uh, the cards weren't on camera again. For first time doing this, bear with us. Uh, we got Jordan Jordan Noah from the Milwaukee Bucks, uh, rookie. We got Jalen Smith, rookie. Uh, that's our first pack. All right, we're gonna get. I'm gonna at least sleeve these up because, as we stated here, we we take good care of the cards. You guys, you you guys pay good money for this stuff. You know, we wanna we wanna take care of your cards. We wanna at least sleeve them up immediately. At least sleeve them up immediately. You know, and then we'll we'll top load uh, when we're done. All right, here we go. Next pack. Look at that. Look at that. What do we got here? All right, we got uh, Dante DiVincenzo base card, Otto Porter Jr. base card, Bam Adebayo base card, Michael Porter Jr. base card, Colin Sexton base card. We got uh, Jalen Smith. We got next insert. Uh, we got a Cole Anthony rookie for the uh, Orlando Magic. We have a Josh Green rookie for the Dallas Mavericks. Again, we'll top load these. Here we go, next pack. Uh, we got a Russell Westbrook base card. D'Angelo Russell base card. Jeff Teague base card. Harrison Barnes base card. We got a Rudy Gobert base card. We got a Malachi Flynn. We got game for the Raptors. Is that numbered? 
Uh, no number. Just a basic insert. Just a basic insert. Uh, we got a uh, Tyrell Terry for the Dallas Mavericks rookie card. We got a uh, R.J. Hampton. Actually, he's highly touted. People are talking about him. He's supposed to be something. Again, we're not too far into the season, so a lot of these guys, we, we don't fully know their potential yet. Oh, let me sleeve these up. Alright, next pack. We got a uh, Danielle House Jr. base card. Carl Anthony Towns base card. Kemba Walker base card. Clint Capella base card. Buddy Heald base card. We got a Zach Levine. He's actually having a really good year this year. Uh, 21 out of 99. I, I don't know if that's a red-green parallel or just a green parallel. Not, not a bad card to get right now. We got uh, Daniel Oturu from the Clippers rookie. We got a Cassius Winston rookie from the Washington Wizards. Again, let me sleeve these up. Oops. Sorry, you don't want to. You don't want to hit that. That's that's Justin Herbert. He's he's the goat right now. He's the guy everybody's chasing. Here we go. Next pack. All right, we got uh, Eric Paschkel for the uh, Golden State Warriors. I'm sorry, I blanked out for a second. Uh, we got a Danny Green for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pascal Siakam, Toronto Raptors. Marvin Bagley Jr. for the Kings. We got a Cameron Johnson. We got an NBA Hoops Legends of the Game, Tony Parker, serial numbered... Nine out of one ninety nine. Is that a is that a jersey number? What is what is Tony Parker's jersey number? Is that five or nine? Not a hundred percent on that one, but I will get back to you. That's for the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, we got a Killian Hayes rookie for the Detroit Pistons. Then we got a Aaron uh, Naismith for the Boston Celtics. Here we go. All right, next pack, next pack. Here we go. Still haven't gotten one of our autos yet. You're guaranteed two autos per box. Does that mean it's a mellow? Oh, you, you are going to see some. You're going to see a grown man cry if I pull a mellow auto tonight for you fellas and gals. We got a Zion Williamson, greatest player of all time, according to last year's hype. Uh, we got a Brooke Lopez base card. Troy Brown Jr. base card. Kevin Porter Jr. base card. We got uh, Isaiah Thomas, Legends of the Game. Uh, Detroit Pistons, it's serial number 240 out of was it, 699. We'll put that off to the side here. Here we go. We got uh, Nick Richards, NBA Hoops rookie for the the Hornets, and not the guy you want, but could be good. You never know. And we got a Kenyon Martin Jr. for the Houston Rockets. There you 
Again, let me sleeve these guys up. Pack. Let's get let's get that down on the bottom over here. We can pull from the top. Let's see what we got right here. I, I, I feel I feel something in this one. I don't know. I was looking at it. Felt lucky. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Here we go. We got a Lou Williams base card. We got a Wesley Matthews base card. We got a Duncan Robinson base card. We got a Paul Millsap base card. We got a Tristan Thompson base card. We got a Will Barton base card. We got a Tr Trey Jones rookie for the San Antonio Spurs. And we got a Emmanuel Quickly rookie for the Knicks. People are pretty high on him. He looks pretty good so far. But again, early in the season, we don't know. Leave that bad boy up. Let me get this one too. Again, no mellow sighting yet, but we're we're hoping for that one. His his base cards right now, a mellow base, nothing special, not even an auto, just a base rookie is going for a hundred plus. Obviously we want an auto, but we'll settle for the base. Alright, here we go. We got a Kevin Knox the second NBA hoops. We got a Tim Hardy Tim Hardaway Jr. base card. We got a Drew Holiday base card. We got a Cam Reddish base card. We got a Henry Giles Jr. base card. We got a backstage pass, Jimmy Butler, VIP. Let's see, is this serial numbered? Nope. Still a nice looking card though. I'll show you that. Not bad. Oh, there we go. We got a Denny Avadija. He's actually, he was highly touted in the draft. He's starting to get some minutes now, so, you know, he could be something. That's a rookie for the uh, Washington Wizards. Then we got Onyeka Okongwu. I apologize for butchering that name if I did. Rookie for the Atlanta Hawks. He was drafted pretty high in the draft, so, you know, again, we don't know about him, but. Right now they got Clint Capella, so I don't know how many minutes he's going to get, but he should down the road be something. So, so far our best card are uh, Denny... Denny Avagila, that's rookie. Then we got a Jimmy Butler backstage pass. Again, we'll sleeve that up. All right, next pack. No auto yet. All right, we got a Malik Beasley. Base, uh, base, not rookie. Uh, Mitchell Robinson base. TJ Warren base. Cody Zeller base. Got a Darius Baisley. He's he's going to be something on the Thunder. He's getting some minutes this year. Him and uh, uh, Shea Gilgis. They're they're going to be something. That duo together. Uh, Kawhi Leonard City Edition. It's a nice looking shiny card. You see that? We'll sleeve that up for sure. We got a uh, Obi Toppin NBA Hoops rookie for the Knicks. We got a Tyrese Maxey for the Philadelphia 76ers. People actually are pretty high on him. Again, let me sleeve this up. I apologize for the delay. But again, we want to want to show to you. We we take care. We pride ourselves in uh, taking care of your cards. We 
We believe in grading our cards. We believe, absolutely. We treat these as if they were our own. And we believe that the industry has a lot of people that believe in grading, so we want to treat it like they're going to get it graded. Absolutely. Here we go. Let's get another one. He still has yet to pull an auto. So no I feel auto. There's we got two. Diesel in there. I mean, we haven't had anything crazy yet, so I feel like there's going to be some fire. I'm feeling some heat in these gloves. A, a retro Sam Bowie auto? Uh, we might we might have something here. I don't know. We got a backwards card, I think. Uh, we got a right. Willie Colley Stein base card. We got a R.J. Barrett. This guy, he was he was hurt last year, but he he's playing. He's a guy. If you're looking for prospects from last year, he's a guy who's you you want to PC before his prices go through the roof. Uh, we got Rudy Gay here base card. We got a Luke Kennard base card. We got a, oh, that might be something there. Let's see. Let's just, uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry about that. We got a Jonathan Isaac, uh, Orlando Magics. Oh, somebody's at my door. I'm just playing. Everybody knows that guy online. <laughs> Everybody knows about that. Everybody's right, hearing let's about get that. It, folks. We're going to end, yeah, gonna end up. <laughs> Kidding, kidding, kidding. Uh, we got a Al, For Al Horford uh, base card. We got a Elijah Hayes, rookie for the Utah Jazz. Jazz are they're killing it this year. They're they're number one in the NBA right now. Who would have thought that? Uh, we got C.J. Ellaby. Never heard of him, but that looks like Candace Parker to me. Wrong league. Wrong league. I don't know if that's more of an insult to that guy or to Candace Parker. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Yeah, let, 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 us, let us know. To be continued, let us know in the comments. I would like to think that's a dig at Candace Parker, but... All right, here we go. Next pack, next pack. Thankfully, we do not support Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I apologize for the opening of that one. That was pretty rough. All right, we got uh, Jalen Brown, man. He's having a monster year this year. He's a, he's another one right there. You wanna you wanna get his stuff. He's hot, hot, hot right now. We got uh, Landry Shamit base card. We got a Jordan Clarkson base card. We got a Bradley Beal base card. We got a Andre Iguodala base card. We got a Jaden McDaniel's now playing for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's actually a nice look. I gotta say the now playing they look pretty nice. For, I mean, hoops is usually a lower tier product, but I don't think it looks that bad this year. I really don't. We got Saban Lee for the Detroit Pistons rookie card. I don't know anything about him. Uh, we got Jaden McDaniels for the Minnesota Timberwolves rookie. Again, let me sleep these up real quick. I mean, as we get going, we'll probably have somebody... While we're breaking, I'll pass him. He'll be our, uh, he'll be our, uh, you know, can't say it, but you know what I mean. Hey, Alex, don't forget to mention that we have uh, the oh. uh, Artifacts Hockey. Oh, breaks. we have the Upper Deck Hard Artifacts Hockey that is currently live now on eBay. Um, we were... We were looking to break that around 9 Eastern time. So buy that up while you can. At this rate, it looks like it might be 9 Pacific time. Yeah, it might be 9 we'll Pacific time. We'll, we'll hang in there. there. Again, it's Saturday night. Yeah. And we know. also have Magic. And we, and we be breaking. We, we be breaking. We have Magic. There's seven slots available. Seven we slots available. We have a lot of foot traffic, a lot of watches. We have a, nobody's, uh, nobody's pulling we have a, the trigger. Kaldheim Collector's Booster. He, Paul is our magic expert extraordinaire. I, me, myself, don't know much about the product, but I'm willing to learn. The only thing about magic you seem to know are Orlando Magic. The, <laughs> yes, yes, the Orlando Magic. We got John Morant, second-year base card. We're going we're gonna to sleeve and top-load that. Those second-year cards have been skyrocketing for these guys. Wendell Carter Jr., he's another one that could be something. You, we don't know yet. Uh, Trey Young, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna top load that Trey. We're gonna give him some love. He's now opening the year. He started off real hot. His prices his prices were real crazy. Kind of dipped a little bit, but you know he's 
He's the Robin to the Batman, or Luca would be the Batman. Uh, we got a DeMar DeRozan. He's another one having a good year this year. We got a Thon Maker. Uh, we got a DeAndre Hunter numbered card. Not a rookie, but people are pretty high on him. We got that serial number 29 at a 199. Hoops, so, uh, I believe that's a silver parallel. It's, not, it's a nice looking card. That's a nice looking card. We got a Vernon Carey Jr. for the Hornets. Again, we're, where's the mellow? That's two Hornets rookies now we got. Come it's on, a sign. Man. It's a it's sign. It's a sign. Is he, the, is he our auto? And then we got a Zeke Naji for the Denver Nuggets. I apologize if I butchered that name. I don't know much about him. Who would have thought you'd be having a harder time pronouncing NBA player names over hockey player names? <laughs> again, hockey, another sport I don't know much about, but again, Paul this, Lazar, NHL hockey extraordinaire. And this is why my segment's called Goons and Geeks. <laughs> we all know you need goons on hockey. Again, there's there's another member of our group, David. You'll probably uh, meet him eventually. You'll meet him eventually. Maybe once this uh, coronavirus dies down, but... We love right. you, David. We love you, David. Uh, he is a fourth member of our goon squad. Have we started adding him on uh, milk cartons yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, comment in the chat if you know Dave's whereabouts. Trey Young, we got a... Five dollar reward. Five, five dollar reward. That's about... Yeah, that, that might be overpaying, but... Uh, we have to pay them. <laughs> oh, then that's definitely where... Sorry, Dave. Five bucks. That's that's too rich for our blood. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Next pack. Next pack. Here we go. We got a Dan Daniel Gafford base card. We got a Kevin Looney base card. Anthony Davis. We'll sleeve. We'll sleeve and top load that. NBA champion Anthony Davis. We got a. LaMarcus Aldridge base card. We got a Blake Griffin base card. Oh, what's this? Steph Curry. Stephen Curry, more spark, power plug speed insert. Here we go. Uh, that is not serial number, but that's a nice looking card. And Steph, the Steph Curry market. Oh, ooh, I apologize for that. The Steph Curry market is heating up. Uh, we got uh, Anthony Edwards, the number one overall pick, Minnesota Timberwolves rookie. Jury's still out on him. We don't know, but, you know, we'll see. And then we got uh, Sadiq Bay for the Detroit Pistons rookie. I feel like there's got to be a stud in there, man. We haven't had our there's auto gotta yet. There's got to be a stud. There's got to be a banger in here. There's got to be a there's stud. There's got to be. I'm calling, I'm calling, Mello! Now it'll probably be the dad. <laughs> yeah. LaVar, or <laughs> Lamar. With all three of his sons in a picture. Pretty much. Look at that, Steph Curry, that's nice. Can't argue with this business practice, it worked out pretty well in my opinion. Shit. Anthony Davis, we're gonna sleeve and top load that bad boy. Still no auto yet, where's that auto? It's it's creeping. Oops, sorry, put your back pack. I apologize. Again, we will get better with time. And then they'll change the packaging. <laughs> and then they will change the packaging. All right, we got a Dwight Pal base card. We got a Derek, Derek Favors base card. We got a Marcus Smart base card. We got a CJ McCollum base card. We got a Donovan Mitchell base card. Oh, NBA Hoops City Edition. Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks. That might be something. Is that serial numbered? No, no serial number. And we got. A Desmond Bain for the Memphis Grizzlies, rookie. Then we got a Cassius Stanley for the Indiana Pacers. Wow. 
Where's that stud hiding? I don't know, man. Where's where's, where's this that auto? Stud? Panini, man. You, two autos. This better not be on average. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm not even going to say the word. I'm not even going to say the P word. Oh, don't even. I'm not going to say don't the P even, word. Don't even, Panini. Don't hit us with them points. Oh, you said the oh, word. Oh, I said the word. Oh, no. We got an Eric Bledsoe base card. We got a Zach Levine base card. We got a Nikola Jokic base card. We'll, we'll sleeve and top load that. He's, he's in the MVP running. Again, early in the season, but in the MVP running nonetheless. We got a Darius Garland base card. We got a Patty Mills base card. Michael Porter Jr. What is that? A purple parallel? What is that? I don't know. The board is... And that's just, just a card. That's just the way it is. I don't know. We'll, we'll sleeve and top load that just to be safe. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, we got a Tyrese Halliburton. He's a, he's a chase card this year. You want him. They're pretty high on him. He's uh, the number two uh, NBA rookie in the rankings right now. And we got Xavier Tillman for the Memphis Grizzlies rookie. Uh, that Tyrese Halliburton, I apologize. I don't think I said it. That was for the uh, Sacramento Kings rookie. Again, this is this is our first time doing it. Bear with us. We will get better. And if we don't, feel free to bash us in the comments. We are open to criticism. We are open to criticism. That's how you get better. Oh, I need uh, another pack of sleeves. I apologize. Oh, never mind. I got them right here. We're good. Our setup will also change as well. Our setup, yeah, right now we have the... There is nothing wrong with the Miami Dolphins. I'm sorry that we have a fellow Giants and a Raiders fan in the building. Raiders? I said, I said setup, not the ambiance. Oh, never mind. Disregard my previous comment. Again, the, the table is looking... It's a little tight right now. We're under construction. We will get better. You know, if the Bills made it to the Super Bowl, this would have been the perfect table for them. We got a Mark Keith Morris base card. Kevin Durant. There we go. NBA hoops. Not an auto, but, you know, Durant stuff holds value. We'll Seven days off. We'll, we'll sleeve and top load that. We got a Josh Richardson base card. Ooh, we got, I think we got our first auto. We got a Kelly Aubrey Jr. For the Suns, he's actually on the Golden State Warriors now. Uh, we got a... Devin Vassell, Rookie Inc. for the San Antonio Spurs. There's our first auto. I, I, I don't know. I mean, auto nonetheless. I don't know much about him. But the Spurs, you know, could be something. We've got a Zero Gravity Julius Irving insert. We got a Skylar Mays, Rookie for the Atlanta Hawks. There we go. That's one of the Chase guys I was talking about. Peyton Pritchard for the Boston Celtics. He's he's pretty highly touted. I think he's hurt right now. But when he was, you know, when he wasn't hurt, he was balling. That boy be balling. In the auto, I'm going to top load right away. Again, as we get going and we, you know, get our fourth member back, we'll have a guy uh, sleeving and loading as we go to, you know, to speed things up. In this industry, time is money. Speaking of time, there's not a whole lot of time left on that upper deck artifacts hockey. Oh, not a lot of time on that artifacts. Get it while it's hot. You know, like I said, we're we're breaking we're breaking tonight. Well, we're trying to break. Well, we're trying to break. sell the case. But like you said, guys, I mean, look out there on eBay. Look out there. Again, let me, uh, let me we're, show we're, that. We're, we're one of the cheapest out back. there. I mean, we're, we're giving you fair value. Show you that auto again. Best bang for your buck. Oh, we got an auto. We'll show you that auto again. 
for the San Antonio Spurs. All right, hopefully we can get something better than that. Come on, we need. We haven't had a Lamelo Ball sighting. Hopefully, uh, he's our second auto. Again, he's the guy this year. That's the guy you want. We got an OG Ananobi. He's another one, actually. He's he's doing pretty good. What the? Who was that? Obi Wan. Oh <laughs> yeah, Obi Wan. Uh, rot for your Star Wars guys. I mean, we could break that too if if you guys buy it, we'll break it. We're not opposed. Uh, Robert Covington, base card. Uh, we got a Damanis Sabonis. He's another one. He's having a year this year, man. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll sleeve and top load that. Give him some love. Give him some love. That's for the uh, Indiana Pacers. Here we go. Nicholas Batum for the Hornets. We got a John Collins base card. We got a now playing Malachi Flynn. Uh, again, I'm sorry if I butchered that name. But that's a rookie for the uh, Toronto Raptors. Then we got uh, Patrick Williams. He's another one. Actually, he's he's highly touted. He's, he's supposed to be a stud. The, the Bulls are a young team. I think in the next couple years, they might be, I mean, I, we're not talking Jordan years, but, you know, they might be something. We got a Devin Vassell rookie for the San Antonio Spurs. Again, let me sleeve these guys up. And I apologize for all the dolphin stuff here. That's, that's my brother. He's he's delusional. Thinking they're yeah. Thinking they're a good Coming team. Coming from the team that went from Oakland to L.A. <laughs> back to Oakland, and nobody seemed to care. And, and now, now we're now, in Las Vegas. Now we're in Vegas. Vegas, baby. I would have loved to get to a game this year. The Raiders Dolphins were actually playing, and my brother. Oh well, you remember that game when the Dolphins yeah, turned around, I came mean, back, and beat the, the Raiders. The Raiders didn't show up in that one, so it's almost a good thing that we didn't go live. I might. Yeah, have, it's all right. You might have. have you might have seen a grown man cry. Actually, it's funny you say that because their their coach John Gruden. They have a time clock on the amount of time uh, that he makes per every 30 seconds hired as, uh, as a coach there. So I, I just find that funny. He's the only coach in the NFL that has that. But Again, Nick News. <laughs> uh, here we go. We got a Marcus Morris base card. Damian Lillard. We'll still even top load that. We'll show, we'll show Dame some love. We'll show Dame some love. We got a John Wall. Mr. Resurrection himself. He's on the Houston Rockets. Uh, we got a Kendrick Nunn base card. We got a Tory Craig base card. We got a now playing Alec Shij Pashkuveski. I, I, I am sorry. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. For the Oklahoma City Thunder. Rookie. We got a Jemias Ramsey for the Sacramento Kings. Here we go. Mr. I'm going to butcher his name again. Alex Shij Pope Shuveski. Again, I apologize if I butchered that. Uh, by the way, I'll, I want to put that for our viewers here. Uh, that there right there is the John Gruden clock. Um, we have six years, 48 weeks, four days, 14 <laughs> hours, uh, 50 seconds, and uh, he has made uh, $10 or $11 since I just last spoke. So, uh, <laughs> FYI, that is in fact a real thing. Uh, Mr. He is still owed $69,129,000. Mr. $100 million. Hey, you can't blame the man. You know, if the Raiders are willing to pay, I, I'm not turning that money down either. Facts are facts, my friend. Can we put that next to the Jeff Bezos clock? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a Alfred Payton base card for the Knicks. Alex Caruso, NBA, or should I say NBA champion Alex Caruso. We got a Aaron Gordon for the Magic's base card. Ooh, we might have something here. We might have something here. Aaron Baines. We got a Chris Stops. Let's see. 
Is it an auto? What do we think in the chat? Is it an auto or a, I don't know? Do you get memorabilia using this product? I'm not sure. We got a Kristaps Auto! Whoa! For the Dallas Maverick. That's a nice one now. Right, can you say, ooh! Hot hands! Look at them hands! Fire! Fire! Let's see if that's that bad boy's serial number. Not serial numbered, but he's a guy you want right now. The Mavs, I mean, they're looking a little sluggish right now, but wait till the, you know. The end of the year. Here, let me put these down real quick. That's going to go right. We're going to sleeve that bad boy up, and we're going to top load that right away. Congratulations, Mr. Dallas Mavericks. Chris Stops Porzingis. Look at that. we got to show this bad boy again. Here we go. Chris Stops. All right, back to the pack. I apologize for that. We got a Prime Twine, Nikola Jokic. These are actually nice-looking cards. I was looking at them online. That's a nice little uh, parallel there. And he's having he's having a pretty good year, Nikola Jokic. James Wiseman. There you go. There's one of them, Chase. He's in the Rookie of the Year running. And then we got a uh, – oh, that was for the uh, Golden State Warriors. I apologize for that. I didn't say the team. Again, Golden State Warriors. Uh, then we got uh, Kira Lewis Jr. for the New Orleans Pelicans. laughing about Gruden. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, Gruden. <laughs> Again, I apologize. We will get better with the, the table set up. We're a little jammed up here. We'll, we'll work on things. Yeah, feel free to comment in the comments and let us know how we can do better. I, I, I think we should fire Nick. Start there. I'm kid okay. kidding, kidding, Nick. I love you. What if we oh! Here we go! Mr. Uh, uh, We'll start with the back of the pack first. Mr. LaMelo Ball! Can you say, ooh, 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 I like that sweet candy. Mr. LaMelo Ball for the uh, Charlotte Hornets. There we go. You know what? We're going to put this pack down right away. We're going to sleeve and top load that bad boy. That's a, that's a $100 rookie you're looking at right there. Congratulations. So who, who's got the uh, Charlotte Hornets? Um, I believe Charlotte Hornets would go to Vicious B003. There you go. Congratulations, Mr. Vicious B. Oh, you're vicious. We got a Steph Curry base card. LeBron James! His stuff's on fire right now. Wow. I mean, it's just a base card, not serial numbered, but if... If you go on eBay right now and you look at LeBron James cards, it is insane what they go for. We got a Jared Allen base card. We got a Seku Dambuyu base card. Nikola Vucevic base card. We got a Kyrie Irving City Edition for the Brooklyn Nets. There we go. And then we got uh, Robert Woodward II. Again, I'll show you that mellow again, that mellow base card. He's the guy. That's the guy you want right now. He's the Zion of this class. You got, everybody knows about the Zion hype last year. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I top-loaded that right away. I apologize. That's okay. That just shows the care that we put into the cards. LeBron James! Little LeBron base action. We'll top load that bad boy right hey away. Hey guys, don't forget. 
Like I said, we got the hockey break, we got the magic break, we're trying to fill up the spots, we would love to break it tonight. We're now at 9.15 Eastern Standard Time. Please, by all means, check it out. You know, buy your slot now. Buy it no, now. We want to break it. Paul's itching. He's itching over here. He wants to break again. And here we go. We're going to show that mellow again. We're going to show that La Mellow Ball Rookie. Nice. Here we go. Next pack. Can we get two mellows in this box? Does that happen? Does that happen? Uh, we got an Al Horford base card. Fred Van Bleet. He went off the other day. You guys see his stat line the other day? I don't know exactly what it was off the top of my head, but this guy couldn't miss a bucket the other day. Ricky Rubio. Base he's card. still in the league. <laughs> yeah, he's still in the league. Malcolm Brogdon base card. We got a P.J. Washington Jr. base card. Now here's a guy. We got, like I said, he's one of the, the guys they're hyping up this year. Tyrese Halliburton we got next. Rookie. Then we got a uh, Odoka Azubuki. Uh, again, I apologize for butchering these names. Your pronunciation Man. was perfect. These, 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 this rookie class this year. Where? Oh. Uh, Makalai Flynn for the Toronto Raptors. All right, we're down to three packs left. Do we got another mellow in here? You have one auto left, right? No, we got the two oh, autos. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. We got the two autos. It was. I'll, I'll, I'll do a recap at the end for anybody who uh, didn't see. Well, we always we we always will do a recap at the end. Again, look at this, Tyrese Halliburton, not numbered, but again, he's he's one of the guys you want. This is their first uh, pro uniform cards this year. This so. These uh, the NBA hoops are actually they're they're pretty hot right now. It's the first uh, pro uniform card this year so far. The coronavirus, everything was delayed with Panini. So I mean, it, with all companies, not just Panini. All right, here we go. We got a Kobe White base card. We got a Marquise Chris base card. We got a Shake. Melton base card. Christian Wood, he's another one there. I mean, not not a rookie, but he's another guy that uh is bowling this year. We got a Mo Bamba, Mr. Ride the Bench himself, Mo Bamba. Luca Doncic! High voltage! He's a guy you want right now. Luca's market is hot, 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 hot. Here we go, we'll show that one again. We got a Isaac. Okoru, rookie for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Then we got our Isaiah Stewart, rookie for the Detroit Pistons. Why did I pick a product with 24 packs, man? No, I'm kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. We do this. We love the hobby. You got to see our collections. Well, we'll start. We have a Facebook. Uh, group up right now you gotta right now we only have a few things posted but you know little by little we'll we'll show you guys what we got Paul over here you gotta see his wife would kill him with the amount of money he spent I'm kidding I'm kidding it's my money <laughs> we'll edit that out yeah that part we'll leave that out we'll, we'll leave that out and that part can stay in there and be shipped to her. <laughs> well, we can do that with, sir, for with, a low, low fee of $5 shipping. With, with love. Way, that's with what love. we're charging right now on with, eBay. You could buy as many slots as you would like. Only a one-time shipping fee of $5. All right. We got a Jared Culver base card. We got a Frank No Good. Frank No Good. Nah, it's no Kino, but we got a Frankie No Good. Montrezl Harrell. He was bowling last year for the Clippers. I, I can't believe that they let him go. Uh, we got a De'Aaron Fox. We got Mike Connolly base card. We got a Jimmy Butler 
Hypno was it hypnotized? Insert is that serial numbered? Not numbered, but cool looking card. I gotta say, like I said, the the hoops is like usually like a lower end product, but I gotta say, through the years, it's improved. Don't sleep on it. We just sold another slot in the NHL. NHL. Back, so Buy it. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there little by little, but everybody seems to be crawling. So buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it before we sell out. Because we're gonna we're we're pulling bangers in here. I thought it was gonna be in the hoops, but maybe there's a banger in that artifacts break. Uh, we got a Nico Mannion, Golden State Warriors rookie. Then we got a Grant Miller, Charlotte Hornets rookie. This is a Charlotte Hornets box, man. We pulled their entire rookie draft class. You got the Hornet nest over. We got there. We go. Copyright infringement. Uh, we got the Hornet nest. Just don't get stung. Yeah, don't, don't get stung. Paul over here. He's scratching. He's fiending. He wants to get in here and break again. Come on, guys, buy these slots. All right, last pack mojo. Do we got it here? We got it here. Let's see. All right, what do we got? We got a Karis Levert. Dude, he, he was balling. You know, when they were injured, there was that one game where the rant was down, Kyrie Irving was down. You know, I believe they were, yeah, they were playing the Sixers. They were, the Sixers had the best record in basketball at the time. And the Nets came in shorthanded and clobbered them. I mean, right now, he's he's not even on the Nets anymore. So, I don't even know why I brought that up. <laughs> but uh, he's, he's actually on the Pacers. But he's, that, that dude's got some hype. Uh, we got a Ben Simmons base card. People are high on him. I'm not, I'm not really a Ben Simmons guy. I never was. Yoel Embiid, yeah, I'll, I'll mess with that boy. We got a Mark Gasell base card. We got a Jeremy Lamb, uh, Jeremy Lamb base card. I apologize, butchered that one too, and that was an easy one. Terry Rozier, he's how about that? He's balling this year. That boy be balling. We got a Julius Irvin throwback hoops base card. Is that serial number? No, but that's actually a pretty sick looking card. I gotta say. We'll sleeve and top load that bad boy. Then we got Mr. Precious Ochua, Miami Heat. He's another guy that's, uh, you know, definitely could be something. Uh, then we got we got a last card, Leonardo Balmaro for the Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, let's sleeve and let's sleeve these bad boys. Again, we thank you for everybody who bought into the spots tonight. We appreciate the love that you show us, and like I said, we're going to make sure we take very good care of these cards. You guys will be thoroughly impressed with the way that we package these when we ship them out. Make sure when you get these, you know. <clears throat> Alex, before we go over the highlights real quick, I just figured we'd show you the update on the uh, Gruden clock here. Uh, we are now up to uh, yeah, about uh, sixty-nine million one hundred twenty-nine thousand six hundred eighty-four dollars, and uh, the cents keep just oh, I'm flying. Sorry, Herbs. Well, we only got six years, forty-eight weeks, four days, fourteen hours, and twenty-seven seconds. Again, thank you for everybody who. Uh, th that's nonsense. He's sorry. <laughs> again. Here we go. Just showing you guys empty box. Thank you again for. Anybody who bought in tonight, thank you for believing in us. And like I said, we will get better with time. I apologize. Uh, let me... Uh, I'm just going to top load these up. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to top load them. Then I'm going to do the highlights. I mean, if somebody wants to come over here and help me out so I can do it faster. Or I'll just do it myself. No big deal. We figured you're a big boy and you can handle it. <laughs> That's what my wife says. Now you gotta keep on camera me top loading. This is supposed to be. Yeah, and top loading all these 
bad boys. I apologize for the mountain, the mess of cards. Again, our setup will get better. We're a little, you know. Having a Jim Carrey flashback in here. It's a little warm in these rhinos. Yeah. Nick keeps the temperature hot here in this studio. I thought it was the cards we're going to be pulling tonight, but. It must be a dolphin thing. It must, it must be a. Miami, Florida thing. Yeah. Snowbird. If he comes in here making flipper noise, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, I'll start uh, reviewing these just so, you know, I don't want to waste your guys' time. Uh, we got a Kyrie Irvin. City Edition for the Brooklyn Nets. McAlai Flynn for the Toronto Raptors. Yudoka Azabuki for the Utah Jazz. Isaiah Stewart for the Detroit Pistons. Uh, Isaac Okoru for the Cleveland Cavaliers. We got a Grant Miller for the Charlotte Hornets. We got a Nico Mannion for the Golden State Warriors. We got a Jimmy Butler Hypnotize for the Miami Heat. We got a Leonardo Balmaru for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We got a Precious Ochuru, or, or, Ochua for the Miami Heat. Julius Irvin, nice looking card for the 76ers. And we got a Luka Doncic, high voltage. Not numbered, but nice looking card. And the Luka market is hot right now. We got a Tyrese Halliburton. We got next. Again, look at that. LaMelo Ball! Christophs Porzingis. Hoops, Inc. Devin Vassell for the San Antonio Spurs. Auto. We got a Robert Woodward. This Woodard the second for the Sacramento Kings. Got a Steph Curry base, a LeBron base. Again, I apologize. This at, at this rate we might need Google Translate <laughs> to start a. Uh, uh, we got a Nicole Jokic prime time. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna speed this up. I'm just gonna show you what it is before I top load that. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your guys' time anymore. I apologize. I apologize. I mean, All right, there's no reason to apologize. If they're sitting here on a Saturday night at 9:30 in the evening watching us, they got nothing but time. I'm just kidding. You know, there's no big game tomorrow or anything. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys doing tomorrow, Sunday? I mean, it's not like there's anything on. Who, oh, who you guys got into tomorrow's game? I personally think uh, the Kansas City Chiefs and Patty Mahomes. They're going to take it. I don't know, man. I, I honestly think that, 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 Hampton, that, you know, T. Brady, you can't Nuggets. count him out, man. Jalen Smith, we got next. He can make hot garbage uh, look like Phoenix a superstar. Suns. We got a Cole Anthony for the Orlando Magic. I think I'm going to have my snow show. We got a Josh Green know. for the Dallas Mavericks. We got a Precious Ochoa, we got next for the Miami Heat. We got a Jordan Nora for the Milwaukee Bucks. We got a Jalen Smith for the Phoenix Suns. We got a Makalai Flynn for the Toronto Raptors. We got a Emmanuel Quickly for the New York Knicks. We got a Legends of the Game, Isaiah Thomas, serial number 240 out of 699 for the Detroit Pistons. Uh, we got a Nick Richards, Charlotte Hornets rookie. We got a Kenyon Martin Jr., uh, Houston Rockets rookie. We got a Tony Parker, Legends of the Game, San Antonio Spurs, serial numbered is that nine out of one ninety nine. We got a Killian Hayes rookie for the Detroit Pistons. We got a Eric Naismith for the Boston Celtics. We got a Zach Levine, uh, I believe that's the Green Parallel, serial number twenty one out of ninety nine. We got a Daniel Aturu for the Los Angeles Clippers. We got a Cassius Winston for the Washington Wizards. We got a Tyrell Terry for the Dallas Mavericks. We got an Anthony Edwards, Mr. Number One Overall for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We actually, I gotta say, the rookies that that were in this box, we, we did all right. 
We had a Sadiq Bay for the Detroit Pistons. Ja Morant, second year card. Mr. Baller himself. We got a Trey Young. He personally, he's he's my everybody's on Luca. Trey Young, that's my guy. That's who I'm collecting. That's my guy right there. Uh, we got a DeAndre Hunter. Uh, serial number 29 out of 199. So I believe that's a silver parallel. We got a Vernon Carey Jr. rookie for the Charlotte Hornets. We got a Zeke Ninaji for the Denver Nuggets rookie. We got a Jaden McDaniels now playing Timberwolves rookie. We got a Saban Lee Detroit Pistons rookie. We got a Jaden McDaniels Minnesota Timberwolves rookie. We got a Elijah Hughes Utah Jazz rookie. We got a Miss Miss Candace Parker herself. I'm kidding. Uh, C J Ellerby for the Portland Trailblazers. We got a Kawhi Leonard. That's a nice looking card, I gotta say. Uh, City Edition for the Los Angeles Clippers. We got a Obi Topin for the New York Knicks rookie. We got a Tyrese Maxey for the 76ers rookie. We got a Jimmy Butler backstage pass for the Miami Heat. We got a Denny Avadija for the Washington Wizards rookie. We got a Unyeka Okangwu rookie for the Atlanta Hawks. We got a Trey Jones rookie for the San Antonio Spurs. We got a Cassius Stanley rookie for the Indiana Pacers. We got a James Wiseman rookie for the Golden State Warriors. We got a Kira Lewis rookie for the New Orleans Pelicans. That's just a Damian Lillard base. Uh, Alicja Pabachuski now playing rookie. We got a Jampus Ramsey. Jamias Ram oh, I'm sorry. Jamias Ramsey for the San uh, Sacramento Kings rookie. We got a Alik Pajuvashki for the Oklahoma City Thunder rookie. Uh, that was just a Dem Demonis Sabanis uh, NBA Hoops base card. Nothing special, but I was just showing some love. Makalai Flynn, NBA Hoops now playing rookie. We got a Patrick Williams, NBA Hoops rookie for the uh, Chicago Bulls. We got a Devin Vassell rookie for the San Antonio Spurs. Just that's a Kevin Durant base card. We got a Julius Irvin zero gravity for the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. We got a Atlanta Hawks for the Sky uh, Skyler Mays rookie. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, Boston Celtics rookie. Nikola Jokic base card. Got a Michael Porter Jr. I don't know if it's a parallel or what that is. It's not numbered, but it looks different in comparison to the other cards. So we'll, we'll top load that just to be safe. Uh, Xavier Tillman, Memphis Grizzlies rookie. Tyrese Halliburton, Sacramento Kings rookie. Uh, Trey Young, City Edition, Atlanta Hawks. We got a Desmond Bain rookie for the Memphis Grizzlies. Anthony Davis, base card. And uh, Steph Curry, more spark. More power plugs, speed. Uh, wow, Alex, numbered. with all of that, I feel that there's 600 members on an NBA <laughs> basketball team. I, all I, can, I apologize for that. I'm gonna... No, I don't apologize, Jarek. But you know what? Are, are some of those going to go for sale on, uh, on our store? Yes, maybe, possibly. No, go through it. This box was a break. Well, this, oh, I'm this, sorry. This, I'm sorry. I'm thinking, this of, the was a, this I'm was thinking a break. of the other hockey. All right, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let uh, Paul... Uh... Well, actually, Alex, that, that card in the background there. Oh, uh, you yeah. you mind uh, sharing that with the people right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'll get back to top loading those. I just want to show you guys. This is uh, 2013 Topps UFC Bloodlines, Conor McGregor Fighter Auto, PSA DNA certified, and it's a Gem Mint 10 authentic. Currently, it's on eBay, not in our store, on my personal listings, but I have that up. Uh, anybody who's interested, throw me an offer, and you know we can talk. But that's a PSA 10. It's not an on-card auto, but it's a sticker auto. It's his rookie. It's highly touted, and unfortunately, he's coming off a KO loss, but I, I strongly believe he's going to uh, rebound. I, I think you want to call it a, uh, a, a Again, total... Destroyed knockout. Gem Mint 10, but you could find that on eBay. Just search it and, you know, you'll see it. All right, well, thank you. Just wanted to show that. What else and, you got there, Al? Share with, share with the group. Just, I'm going to I'm gonna top load these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let my, uh, my 
my assistant Paul. Uh, well, we let Nick pick the stage. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's uh, let's pop his cherry, Nick. Nick, let's uh, let's get in here. Why don't you introduce yourself, Nick? Let me let me top. Uh, I'll, I'll keep going with the top list. last night. But anyway, yes, we know this, and this is why we're saying we need more. Yes, um, as I uh, preference last night, I was by myself without any assistance in any way, shape, or form. And how is that different from any other night? Uh, you know. But needless to say, um, as you saw, we did the upper deck. Um, we 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 still have the artifacts, guys. We've got three cases of this. We are so close to breaking this tonight. I mean, just you know, there's some nice stuff in here. Uh, you got three autographs, one rookie redemption per box. So right here, you got nine autographs in here. Nine. Better than Panini product. We also have the Magic. Caldeen. Okay, this is hard to find. It's brand new on the market. I mean, uh, we have that on eBay right now. There's seven slots available. Like I said, you saw Alex's Connor McGregor. Pretty sweet card. Um, if you, uh, Alex, you wanna you wanna share your your uh, eBay information so people can. Uh, yes, let me give my social security number too. No, no I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, you could uh, you could find the card at my eBay username is Edson K12. Feel free, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm negotiable. Send me All an right. offer. So check that out. You also have here a nice Trey Young. PSA 10. That's pretty sweet. Alex, is that one for sale or is that for your PC? Uh, I mean, like I said, Trey Young's my guy. That's my PC, but money talks. I mean, I got I got a two-year-old at home, and I can always use the money. Yeah, don't we all? All right, that's pretty sweet. And Paul, here we got. If I remember correctly, I, I think you said this was uh, the only mint 10 at this present moment on the market. The only one graded. Only one graded. And it came back as a mint 10. Wow. And it's hand numbered one of 10 as well. Yeah, you can see that right there on the side. It's an Oveskin Stanley Cup autograph on a synthetic puck card. But Oveskin is going to become one of the top all time point scorer in the NHL. Still playing, still accumulating points. You think he's going to catch Gretzky? He has the potential. Wow. That's a sweet card. And that is not listed online yet for sale, but it will be checking in our inventory. It will be posted up for sale very shortly. Paul sleeps yes. with that under his And it's just to show you guys, it. like, you know, the, the, these are the type of cards that uh, we're carrying here. You know, we, we're, no, we're no amateurs in that, in that sense. We've been, we've been collecting for a long period of time, and, uh, you know, we, we just want to share the hobby with you and obviously make some coin on it, but at the same time, we still want to we be able to break the hobby and not break the bank. We love cards. We love talking cards. We love talking sports. PM you also us, got here. Day we talk. <laughs> Alex, how about this? Jason Tatum. Yeah, that's a Optic Shock Rookie PSA 10. Wow, it actually has got a cool little shimmy to it. Very nice, like that. And then I got here a base card, Justin Herbert. And actually, I have a funny story about PSA. Is all I, I see all these cards being graded. So I uh, I sent in a Drew Lock um, National Treasures. Yes, I know Drew Lock uh, National Treasures. Was that with your team Tim Tebow National Treasures mm -hmm. as well? Uh, yes, uh... <laughs> okay. Just make it short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to Nick's uh, defense, Drew Locke was hype at that point. He had sent that out with the backlog at PSA and the fact that it takes... But but him being a Dolphins fan, we all know he submitted five Josh Rosen cards <laughs> at the same time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that? You can't, you can't defend that. You can't defend that. But, needless to say, so I send in uh, a Justin Herbert, or I'm sorry, a, a Drew Locke, um, National Treasures, three patch auto, one of ten, or I'm sorry, two of ten. So I send it in. Um, 
I wasn't familiar with PSA at that time, so I turned around and uh, kind of just yes. went with the base, you know, all right, I'll get the card back. Okay. Obviously, what transpired in the world transpired in the world, so things got a little delayed and et cetera, et cetera. Um, but needless to say, six months later, I get, a box, uh, I get a knock on my door, and it's UPS handing me a package from... PSA and I'm like, oh, finally it came. I hope it's a PSA 10. I open the box. I'm all excited. I'm ready to go. I open it up and it's a PSA 9 basketball player I've never heard of. Jason Tate, to, come on. To, how, did, how have you not heard of JT? I don't watch basketball. I'm sorry. It's not my sport, but it was to address to some guy in Rhode Island. The outside of the box was to me, but the inside of the box and the contents belonged to a man in Rhode Island. So I Let's called his personal uh, information out. Kidding. I called. <laughs> I called PSA, and when I called, they weren't accepting any type of phone calls at this present moment. Um, so I, I called three days in a row. Finally, I was able to get on there. I waited till uh, they open at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I turned around at 8.45. I kept calling, 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 calling. Finally, I get in. They told me I was 145th online to leave my phone number with a prompt, and they will call you back when you're in the queue up. Five and a half hours later, I get a phone call from a number I don't recognize, and as most of us, I don't answer phone calls mostly from numbers that I don't know, not thinking any better. And then in the last second, it triggered in my brain when I was doing something. I was like, oh, that must be them. So I picked it up. It was a nice woman. I explained the circumstance of what I just explained, and um, she sent me a return shipping label. We're going on two weeks now. I have yet to hear anything, so I'm hoping I get my card back, but I guess we'll find out and see what happens. But, um, yeah, so that's my PSA story. But it's pretty insane. They won't even let you buy memberships anymore. You can get the silver. You can't get the platinum anymore. Or the gold. Uh, or the gold. I saw that. The gold sold it's out. Silver. But you can still get it at the silver. But that, that's the way to go, guys. I mean, like, honestly, if you get cards and stuff like that, just just uh, use your better judgment when, when you're buying stuff online, especially from an individual seller. You know, uh have someone look at it if you're not too certain. I mean, centering is the biggest thing. Look at the corners, look at the edges, etc. You know, that, that that's where your money is to be made, you know, when, when you send it in for PSA to get graded, you know. Uh, you, and you got to learn to hold on to players. You know, Alex, for example, is well more disciplined than myself because I had a uh, nice Josh Allen booklet, auto, two-patch auto, that I unleashed probably the fifth game in the season no, this you, year. You sold it before the season. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I did. I, I apologize. I, I sold it in the preseason because, um, just honestly, I'm a Dolphins fan. So, of course, anybody in the AFC East, I'm just going to think ill of. And um, he ended up being a stud. And uh, Alex, what, what did his rookie card that you had go for? Uh, the Contenders Rookie Auto? Yes. I sold that for 2 k uh, two weeks before the AFC Championship game. And what is that card going for now after that? I mean, it dipped a little bit because obviously the Bills lost, but people are still hype on him. I mean, I believe... Oh, no, he's a great player. He's a great player. I he's a great still player. Running at probably about 1500 or so. Maybe, maybe less than that. I'm not sure. I mean, uh, like I said, uh, you know, there's... I, I had the Bills all along getting to the AFC Championship game, but... Mahomes is like Brady. You don't bet against them. Guys, this will be another thing uh, that we're going to be doing this upcoming week. This is uh, Panini Prism Hobby Baseball 2020. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, you got the ultra rare gem inserts. Paul, is there an auto in this? Oh, yeah, fine autograph. Or three autographs. Wow, three autographs in this box. So we're going to. I don't know what we're going to do yet on this. this. This is up to Paul. What he wants to do, I don't know if he wants to do uh, teams or he wants to do divisions or whatever it may be. Like I said, it's up in the air. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Exactly, stay tuned. 
Stay informed and check back often for updates. Yeah, but uh, like I said, uh, everything's listed on uh, uh, on our YouTube. Uh, we got Twitter. We've got um, <coughs> I'm sorry, uh, Facebook. We have uh, Instagram. Please check it out. We'll we'll update it pretty frequently. You know, uh, even if uh, you just you know, we would love for you to break with us and and, and buy some cards. But even if you just want to watch and enjoy. You know, we, we, we try to give some entertainment, and we would love some feedback. Like, if there's something you feel we're, 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 we should do better, or we should try this, or we should try that. And that's kind of the difference of why we chose to do this besides making a little coin. We watch all these break videos of uh, different people doing it, and everybody has their style and stuff. And, and we're just kind of doing what we like, what we don't like, what we didn't like, what they did, what kind of like we like what they did, etc., etc. So, you know, it's one of those things. We have some mats ordered, so don't worry. It's not going to be this black mat, unfortunately. So we're going to get that. Um, also, anything you buy from us, it's fast shipping. Uh, my wife is amazing with that. She's really good. She's and we helping. know a guy. And, and we know a guy. Um, but with shipping and everything like that, anything we sell, it, it'll be relatively shipped. We Usually we do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, so if something sells on a Saturday or Sunday, it'll ship Monday, Tuesday to Wednesday, and then obviously Thursday to Friday. So, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty quick. Post office is relatively within reasonable distance uh, from my home. So, uh, like I said, guys, uh, we still got that hockey up. We're, we're, we're trying to get it going. Trying to get it going, guys. We, we, we got a few spots left. You know, we really want to do it tonight, but uh, if we can't sell the spots, then we're going to we're gonna hold it for another night. Like I said. Uh, we, I mean, we could take a break for now and come back on live, like wait for a few more spots to sell. We could always do that. I mean, we're even if we come down temporarily, we'll, we'll come back up for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If the spots sell, I mean, we're hanging out here. If the spots sell, we'll do it. Uh, I'm exactly just saying while we're here. We'll break it tonight. So we, you know, we yeah, we really want to break it tonight. You know, we got a good... We've got a good amount of people watching. We got a good amount of people uh, looking at the product. And like I said, you know, I, I, it's a decent product. Like I said, this is more Paul's territory than me. I, I'm not really. I, I like hockey. Don't get me wrong. I love going to Devils games. I enjoy them. Uh, but uh, that's more his forte of knowing how to pronounce French and Canadian. Not at all. But <coughs> what's nice about the artifacts is it is hit central. There's Serial numbered, memorabilia, autographs, redemptions. I know everybody hates the word redemption, but there's wild cards out there. It's it's a good product. I've opened it several times before, and every year it seems to be getting a little bit better and better. And as we start our infancy with our box breaking, we're going to go with the entry level to begin, and eventually we want to get you to higher end stuff. But we want a following, and we want you to come back and enjoy yourselves, and hopefully we'll grow with you. Hey, Paul, why don't you give us a little insight on the magic? I I'm not too familiar with it. Are you, Alex? Uh, no, I know nothing about it, but I'm definitely willing to learn. So, I mean, Paul, without going into crazy details, I mean, uh, essentially, what, what is this containing? Like, what's, okay. what's unique and special about this? This is basically what they started doing in the past couple years. It's called the Collector's Edition. 12 packs in the box. Each pack is either all foil. Every card is either foil, I should say, an alternate art, full art, full art foils, and basically it's premium over standard boxes. So that's why there's only 12 packs in the collector's box because you're opening all foils. You can only open certain cards in foil forms in certain art variations in this box. You cannot get that in the base boxes. So this is a high premium hit, and that's why I broke it down into seven slots. We're keeping it simple. We're just going to break it down by color. So it'll be red, white, green, blue, black, and multicolor, and non-color, which is artifacts, and non-color lands. There are going to be some lands that are color-coded and they will end up in the color slot that they correlate to. So, 
it's a better way instead of buying the whole entire collector's edition box and it's fun in my opinion going with a random position is fun because you don't know what you're going to get and sometimes it's hard to pick and choose there isn't really a wrong answer with this collector's edition because of how many foils and hits there are and the cards are pretty well dispersed across the color spectrum of magic pretty interesting wow that's pretty cool and then uh Paul, you care to talk about the baseball? Baseball, you're going to be hitting a lot of your new prospects that were in this past year's amateur draft. You're going to be looking for the top tier players that were drafted by the teams. Uh, because Panini does not have the license with MLB, you will not see the team's logos, but the teams will be specified on the card for what they represent. And I'm leaning towards probably doing a team break just to make it a little easier because there's going to be also base cards for the regular teams. And like with anything that we pull, if there's multiple players representing multiple teams, we will randomize who gets that random multiplayer card. And with the Panini stuff, the Panini Football Prism, it's the hot product, even with their basketball product, it's the hot product. And I think they're trying to step the market up with the baseball to compete with their competitors baseball-wise. Bowman used to be the, tell, the go-to for everything. Now Panini's trying to come in there and take some of the market share away from them and are stepping their products up. And it is a very good quality product. The cards are crisp, they're clean, and it's a great chance to get some of the young prospects and to also speculate on potential hits. And there's uh, three autographs in there? There's a guarantee, I believe it's a guarantee of three autographs because Panini's trying to step their game up and try and compete with the Topps company, which owns Bowman and such. So they're going to give you your hits, whereas with Bowman, I think their box hit on autographs, depending on what box you get, can go upwards to one to three. And I've seen boxes where only one autograph. I believe we sold another spot in our hockey break. So Yes, that's correct. We're getting closer. Which actually brings me to a fact about the... Also, Paul, am I incorrect or correct that in the sense of any wild cards, numeral numbers, uh, non-specified players, that that'll be randomized in that, the break? That it will. So you just increase your opportunity to get some of the hot hits. Because the wild cards, you don't know exactly who it is yet. So it's a little bit of intrigue to it. And it just adds to the value, in my opinion. I mean, we're not guaranteed to open up a redemption card for a wild card. But we are guaranteed to get at least one redemption, one redemption in a box, if I'm not mistaken. Because that's stated right on the box. So there you go, people. Your odds just increased. Uh, I mean, you buy a slot, maybe two. And you pretty much have an opportunity to possibly make that into more. Uh, don't be afraid to buy multiple slots because they are randomized. Uh, absolutely. We've had a couple people already uh, purchase five to seven slots. Um, you know, uh, like I said, uh, we, we want to have fun with this and uh, enjoy it. Like I said, we're getting close, guys. We just had another two buys. Okay, uh, we're very close. Like I said, we're, we're, uh, we're going to take a five-minute break, or a ten-minute break, I'm sorry, and, and we're going to come back. Uh, please, you know, stay tuned when we send you the link back. And uh, again, we hope you... check, again, check our eBay out. Uh, we're under Box Break Kings and Collectibles. And there is an underscore between Kings and Collectibles. Yes, there is an underscore. I'm going to try and fix that. Uh, actually, I was going back and forth um, with various sites uh, for the name. So hopefully I'll be able to get that resolved this week or the following. Um, but I can't make any guarantees. But as I stated... That right there is our Facebook page. 
Okay, you can check us out with any links and everything like that. And we also, like I said, right here is our eBay store. Okay, right there. Like I said, the, the box uh, for the hockey is there. Uh, random, random teams. You know, we want to make things interesting. We would love to break it, and we're getting very close to it. And, uh, you know, please buy, and, and as I said, we have the magic too, guys. We have the magic too. And I know Paul's itching to break that box. So, um, you know, like I said, we're going to take a 10 minute break. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be back and uh, hopefully we sell those slots and we can go from there. Thanks, guys.